actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the trending contracts. And today's contract, Green vs. Red, Green Attack, set in Miami. And the contract ID is up on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a go at it, and has been supplied to us today, courtesy of Shredded Jim. So on to our briefing, short and sweet, we're back. So moving on to our target, and today we have five of them. All must be eliminated whilst disguised as a Kowloon mechanic, and all with a pistol. So for today's challenge, we'll be starting as the waiter, and we're going to be bringing with us some coins, and of course, a silenced pistol. So right from the start and off the bat, we need to make our way down to the changing room area, which is the basement essentially, and down here we will find a pit entry key card, which we require, and more importantly, the Kowloon mechanic outfit. So once we're down here, we're just going to grab the key card, put on the overalls, pass through the other side of the changing rooms. We're then going to take out the camera at the top of the stairs with our pistol, select our coins and throw one at the foot of the stairs there. Really? That will distract the guard upstairs and he will go down to investigate and he won't find I'll anything because we've collected our coin up. And while he's doing that, we've made our way into the Kowloon pit, uh, sorry, the Kronstadt pit. Um, into the back room here. We're just going to use the generator, turn it on and then off again. That's going to snare one of our targets. They're all located in this location. Uh, what we're trying to do is snare the one non-target in the room. But unfortunately, we will have to eliminate a couple of our targets to get to him. So once uh, our first target comes to investigate, we're going to drag them into the tire room here, just because we're going to need the space in the crate just to our right here. So we're now going to rinse and repeat the same process. So on with the generator, we're going to throw a hammer over by the oil drum there, because the generator on its own won't attract the attention. We need someone to come a little closer. This time round we've got the pit manager or the chief engineer and once we have her out of the way the next person to come our way for our trap will be the non-target. So we're just going to quickly drop the chief engineer with a bullet to the back of the head and we're going to deposit her somewhere around. Let's go back to the tyre storage room here. That will do nicely leaving us still plenty of space in the other crate. So at this point what we're going to do is set a coin trap for our non-target victim and it's at this point I realize I can't find the hammer even though if you look just by the oil drum you can see it wedged in between the oil drum and the wall. I don't actually spot that so I'm now going to look around for something else to throw there just so happens to be a fire extinguisher just outside of the room here somewhere. Ah, there it is. So we're just going to grab that. We could have grabbed the hammer. I don't know if it is actually retrievable. It looks kind of wedged. But we're just going to throw the fire extinguisher over by the oil drum. That will now get the attention of our non-target. So when he comes over to investigate, he will spot the coins and they will move him nicely out wow. of the way. You can still use the generator if you so wish, but I figured I brought the coins primarily oh, for great. guard on the corridor, and I might as well use them again here. So once our friend here goes for that final coin, we will be able to break cover, get behind him, render him unconscious, but not unalive, 
and we can deposit him in the crate just by, by the silence here. So, with our non-target now out of the way, there is nothing stopping us from literally just bursting into the room next door and shooting everyone once in the head, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And finally, you sir, you got it right in the face. So that's all of our targets now dealt with, although this area will be frequented shortly by Sierra Knox, so we are going to tidy up before we leave. So make sure you remember all of the bodies, there is one more crate at the far end of the room here, so there is enough space to hide everybody. And once we have everybody safely tucked up, we're going to exit the pit area via the doors to the medical facility and we have one more object to overcome and that is the camera above the doors so if you just aim up and edge forward it should come into view ah there we are and we can then shoot out the camera we're then going to make our way into the storage room at the back of the medical center here and find ourselves a medic's outfit which then will enable us to exit the map via the ambulance exit which would be the closest of the exits. So there we go, one more trending contract taken care of. Uh, quite a fun one, although using the pistol didn't feel quite right when there were so many explosive options available to me. Either way we got our targets eliminated according to plan and we got our silent assassin rating. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.